as we begin this evening's liturgy, the time of holy hour, exposition, adoration, evening prayer and benediction. If you wish to participate in this liturgy more fully, you're most welcome to visit our Cathedral of St. Stephen website where you can download this evening's uh, liturgy and to participate particularly in evening prayer that will be later on during this holy hour.
on Friday evening Rome time, in the early hours of Saturday morning Australian time, Pope Francis led an extraordinary Urbi et Orbi blessing the city of Rome, the world, to aid our time of prayerful reflection, this time of adoration. We will again proclaim the gospel that was proclaimed by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square on Friday evening. The story of Jesus calming the storm. And then we will have it here excerpts from this extraordinary homily from Friday evening.
Have you no faith? Lord, your word this evening strikes us. It is about us, all of us. In this world that you love more than we do, we have gone ahead at breakneck speed, feeling powerful and able to do anything. Greedy for profit, we let ourselves get caught up in things and lured away by haste. We did not stop at your approach to us. We were not shaken awake by wars or injustice across the world. Nor did we listen to the cry of the poor or of our ailing planet. We carried on regardless thinking that we would stay healthy in a world that was sick. Now that we are in a stormy sea, we implore you, wake up, Lord. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Lord, you are calling to us, calling us to faith. Which is not so much believing that you exist, but coming to you and trusting in you. this Lent, your call reverberates urgently. Be converted. Return to me with all your heart. You are calling on us to seize this time of trial as a time of choosing. It is not the time of your judgment, but of our judgment. A time to choose what matters and what passes away. A time to separate what is necessary from what is not. It is a time to get our lives back on track in relationship to you, Lord, and to others.
Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Faith begins when we realize we need to be saved. We are not self-sufficient. By ourselves we flounder. We need the Lord like ancient navigators needed the stars. Let us invite Jesus into the boats of our lives. Let us hand over our fears to him so that he can conquer them. Like the disciples, we will experience that with him on board, there will be no shipwreck. Because this is God's strength. Turning to the good, everything that happens to us, even the bad things, He brings serenity to our storms because with God life never dies. The Lord awakens so as to reawaken our Easter faith. We have an anchor by his cross we have been saved. We have a rudder. By his cross, we have been redeemed. We have a hope. By his cross, we have been healed and embraced so that nothing and no one can separate us from his saving love. Embracing his cross means finding the courage to embrace all the hardships of the present time. Abandoning for a moment our eagerness for power and possessions in order to make room for the creativity that only the spirit is capable of inspiring It means finding the courage to create spaces where everyone can recognize that they are called and to allow new forms of hospitality, fraternity and solidarity. Embracing the Lord in order to embrace hope. That is the strength of faith which frees us from all fear, knowing, Lord, that you care for us, never more than now.
as we move into evening prayer during this time of reflection. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you wish to partake, partake more fully, please visit our St. Stephen's Cathedral website. Click on the Stay Connected button and you'll see the resources here for evening prayer, which will allow you to join in more fully at home. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sin. From earth burn passion, set me free, make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with care and warmth. Let me thy longing servant be, taste thy promise. Lord Jesus, think on me amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery, be my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray. Through darkness and perplexity, when thou the heavenly way. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon nor forsake me, O God, my help. Thy father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way, on an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemies' grief. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is your, your face, O Lord, Lord, that I seek. 
hide not your face. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is, he is supreme over all creatures. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Be friends with one another and kind, forgiving each other as readily as God forgave you in Christ. Try to imitate God as children of His that He loves, and follow Christ, loving as He loved you, giving Himself up in our place as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Why do you want to kill me when I tell you the truth? My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Why do you want to kill me when I tell you the truth? God, our Father, knows all the needs of his people, but he wants us to give first place to his kingdom. Let us proclaim his greatness in our prayer. May your kingdom come in all its justice. Holy Father, you gave us Christ as a shepherd of our souls. May your people always have priests who care for them with his great love. May your kingdom come in all its justice. Grant that Christians will prove brothers and sisters to the sick. Show them the features of your Son in the faces of those who suffer. May your kingdom come in all its justice. Help those who do not believe in the gospel to come into your church. Build it up in love to manifest your goodness everywhere. May your kingdom come in all its justice. Father, we know that we are sinners. Grant us your forgiveness and reconcile us with your church. May your kingdom come in all its justice. 
with deep concern in this time for the coronavirus, for the recovery of those infected, for the safety of those caring for them, and for those engaged in research. May your kingdom come in all its justice. May the dead enter eternal life, especially those who have died from the coronavirus. May they abide with you forever. May your kingdom come in all its justice. We unite all our prayers, the prayers we have prayed here, the unspoken prayers of our hearts, the prayers of the church, the cries of all humanity, as we pray together that great prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, shed your light on hearts that have been purified by penance, and in your goodness give us a favorable hearing when you move us to pray. Through Christ our Lord. Almighty and all merciful God, lover of the human race, healer of all our wounds, in whom there is no shadow of death, save us in this time of crisis. Grant wisdom and courage to our leaders. Watch over all medical people as they tend the sick and work for a cure. Stir in us a sense of solidarity beyond all isolation. If our doors are closed, let our hearts be open. By the power of your love, destroy the virus of fear that hope may never die and the light of Easter, the triumph of life, may shine upon us and the whole world. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord risen from the dead, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Holy Mary, health of the sick, pray for us. St. Joseph, guardian of us all, pray for us. You have given bread from heaven. 
having in itself all delight. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this most wonderful sacrament have left us the memorial of your creation, grant us, we pray, to revere the spirit mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be, God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be, his holy name. Blessed be Jesus, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Man. 
take me on.